What's the crack, Les? What's going on? Back with another XP training tutorial or a training XP guide. And this is going to be a different method. It's going to be pretty much the same in terms of how long it takes you. And I would say that it's probably a little bit more bang for your buck. We're going to create a brand new squad here. And we're also going to need to use one of the new managers. Now, I would definitely recommend Southgate. If you're staying free to play, you could get the champs, obviously, if you've got coins. But if you're playing free to play, you could obviously use Southgate. It's going to be 900 coins to get Southgate. But you can save that up over the course of a couple of weeks. And this method or the other method, if you've missed that video, is going to focus on the XP bonus that these managers give. It's 400%. I have another video done if you want to do it, you know, an offline with my league. But this video video is really really effective if you're looking to get more bang for your buck and just blitz through getting xp and i'm going to show you why there's two little tips in this so make sure you stay watching till the end so what we're going to be doing is because southgate gives a boost like in the other video that we did he gives a huge boost to midfielders we're going to fill our starting 11 with every single player that we have here as midfielder as a midfielder so we're going to have a goalie as a midfielder we're going to have a midfielder up front midfielders everywhere and i'm just going to blitz through this here and really get that bang for your buck uh for the xp bo uh, boost right so we've got southgate as a manager doesn't matter we're going to be playing on the lowest difficulty you don't need any good players or any strikers in this you will get more out of this if you have these players like not leveled up at all if you start at level one or level five or whatever if you want to top up some players that you're going to be using you can do that but we are going to be going to the time attack trial here or beat the clock volume one this will come back there will be another beat the clock soon so you can kind of continue this method for the next couple of weeks i would say um as they'll keep bringing this back or you know the other method will work as well once we're loaded into this, and I have another video on this, I have two videos on this now as well with the match pass, and also you can kind of double dip with these methods, right, and use all the videos that I'm putting out to really make sure that you never have to grind for XP again if you just have a couple of minutes here and there to spare. If you're watching Netflix, you have a second screen, or, you know, usually what I'm doing is I'm working, I'm kind of grinding, right? And it's just going to be dependent on how quick you can actually score a goal. But what we're going to do here is show you the boost that you actually get, right? So, now, when if you, you can restart this, it doesn't make a difference, man. A lot of people are saying, like, oh, do you need to beat the challenge? You don't need to beat the challenge within the goal. It doesn't need to be a minute. It'll obviously just take you more time. So you can restart if you send a free or whatever and obviously you're just going to eventually you know the ai will just eventually give you the ball and you'll be able to score a goal within you know it's roughly takes about like 10 to 15 seconds to score a goal you can just walk it in here and then we're going to skip ahead to what you actually get so this is the xp that you get at the end of each match you're going to go up two levels straight away you're going to be getting a 400 bonus to your xp because of southgate and because of every single player in your squad is going to be a midfielder right so it doesn't matter if you're playing a midfielder up front in goals as i already said you're going to be getting up here and this is what you get so it's 350 xp points earned but it's taken you literally 45 seconds to 60 seconds to actually clear this match so if you kind of like calculate that out right if you're getting 350 xp points in like a minute you're going to be getting in 10 minutes you're going to be getting 3500 so it kind of balances out with the my league method that we already have out right now there's one more step to this that i think a lot of people probably don't even think about it's that you bring on substitutions right now when you have your bench here put on another five midfielders on your bench right that are unleveled or haven't been trained up fully now you don't have to just use this as a farming method to just get xp and release players or whatever right this is what we're doing here but you can use it if you've got a player that's on like level 20 um, and you want to bring him to level 25 or 26 this is a way that you just do not need to, to waste xp as long as you're not playing online you know and you don't need the players that you're looking to train up like a new griezmann or something you can just do this and like slowly but surely build your squad up so we score another goal here right and this has been going to be that like if you bring on your substitutions right if you bring on your substitutions you will not only get your starting 11 that start you'll also get xp and bonuses for the players that you bring on you won't get as much so the likes of porto there we brought on there with like five seconds gone in the game he still gets you know a bit of leveling up there it's not obviously going to be as effective because busquets and the guys that start the game are going to essentially get a lot more xp they're going to be getting double because they're actually starting as a starting 11 if you sub them off in a couple of seconds or so it doesn't matter but they still will get bonuses you know they'll still get bonuses here right so yeah look it's just a simple method obviously it's just a little bit more intensive whereas if you're playing the my league method 
you can just, you know, win the game, like score a goal, pass it back to your player, and then you can go off and get a cup of tea, or you can do some push-ups, you can do whatever you want to do, watch Netflix, chill out, and you can come back when, you know, the game is completely done. But this is also a good method if you are, you know, active and you have, you know, a little bit of time in your hands, you want to do 15 minutes here, 20 minutes there, an hour here, an hour there, you can simply blitz through training up these. Now, also, the second method of this as well, the second tip I would give you is it also helps if you want to clear the match pass. I have a full video done on that you can check it out I'll leave a link in the description below you can just continue to do this and usually what I do is if I know that I'm going to clear the match pass I will buy the value match pass because you get 200 coins back so it's essentially only costing you 300 coins and if you double up this with this method you can amass a lot of XP and a serious amount of trainers uh, for the XP for very little. It's like 300 coins to get so much stuff here. I definitely do recommend the value pass as you work through it, but obviously that depends on if you have coins or not. So that's it for me, lads. If you enjoyed these tutorial videos, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe, and let me know in the comments below which method you like doing, or even if you did know about this method, hopefully it helps you out, and I'll talk to you in a little bit. Peace! Yeah.